today I'm going to show you how to use the docs, the Wix end-to-end -end testing framework for React Native application. First of all, I'm going to create a new React Native project. I already have a project name, Detox Test. So I just rename the project, and in a couple of seconds, the project will be up and ready to use. I'm using the React Native CLI here to create a new React Native project. All is done, now we can cd into the directory and then we can test our <coughs> project is working or not. So for that I am going to launch the emulator where we can test our project. After checking that our project is running successfully, I'm going to add the Tox library as a direct dependency. As the dev dependency is installed for the docs, now we are going to add the configuration for Android. So we are going to head over to the Android documentation for Wix, the docs library, and then first of all we need to add the docs node module for dependency in build build grid. Then we are going to head over to the app.build.creator file and add these two dependencies on our moving to the dependency section of this file. We need to add these. Again, we need to add the default settings in the default configuration in our app.build file. So I'm going to default configuration settings and now including these files. We 
main requirement for TikTok in Android is to use minimum SDK version 18. So let's sure we have the minimum SDK version 18 for our project. So head over to Child of Creator and it is 18, it's 16. So I'm going to change it to 18. Moving back. As TikTok is using Kotlin, we need to add support for it. So going back to our build file. I'm going to add it here. dependency in the dependency then we need to create that file and we need to add it in the specific folder so in the app that you just created there is an android folder there is an app folder and then there is a source folder Inside of source, there's few folders, main debug. We need to create one more. We call it Android. This is the folder where Android build tools look in for any test file. So we need to create a folder calling this con <laughs> convention. So a pro tip if you want to create an exit folder inside Visual code you can give it like that in this way we have created the folder we just have to replace the package name here I'm going to add this file as it is one thing that I need to change is to update the package name. So for finding out what's the package name is, go to Android <coughs> manifest and look into the package name. One mistake I have done is to not naming it properly because our package name is this or lowercase. So I'm going to update it also. Going back, we have added this test file. Now moving on to step number five. Now we need to create a configuration for the talk in the package JSON. So I'm going to open the package JSON for our project and then I'm going to add this configuration for the talk. So as you can see for the configuration of the in package there are two configuration one for debug mode and one for release mode so if you want to test the debug version of your debug or the test development version of your apk then this command will be going to use and these configuration are going to be used and if you want to use the use and test release version of your application then these configuration are going to be used um, there are few key things here. One is the binary path. This is the directory where Detox will search for the APK to be test. If this, uh, there are pretty high chances that these are same for your project and already configured. But if they are not, you can al always update them. The other handy thing is the build command, which is used to build that particular APK. The type is used to denote whether we are using an emulator inside the machine or we are using an attached device for testing. And then we have to name the emulator name. In my case, it is, I'm using it pixel 2 API level 929. So I'm going to update it. then it's 
time the moment of growth we will keep that as our application now we want to test whether we have configured detox for android correctly or not so to run or to check whether we have configured it we need to run the test before running the test we need to do couple of things first we want to set up the test runner so detox is for end to end test but we also need a test runner you can choose jest or mocha i want to use jest because i like it so i'm going to install jest test dependency After installing just as a test dev dependency, you want to create the initialize. You want you want to initialize the detox library. To run that, you have to run this init command with the runner config because we want to use just as the runner for detox. So I'm going to run this, and as you see, it created few files. Let's head over to directory and see. it has created one folder called e2e end to end test in the root directory of our project and inside it it has created three files the most important one is the spec the initial test we want to run it so this is a familiar syntax if you already use just mocha or any testing javascript library so because this is uh, have some pre built test i'm going to comment this out and write one for myself but for that later there's an initializer file which already comes pre built in it's just setting up the runner and the configuration file we don't need to adjust any of it for now what we need to do is to build the apk for building the apk we need to run detox build command as i already showed you that in the package config where we have specified detox configuration we have a command called build which will build the apk so that our detox library can check and test that apk so i'm going to run it it will take a moment or two the build is successful so we want to run the server once the server is running we can run this particular command to test whether we have configured the detox library correctly or not i am using npx tool to running this command because i haven't set up detox as a global I haven't installed Detox globally. Running it will launch our test. It is failing because we currently don't have any test written in that particular file. So I'm going to add one. Our app is basically the Pear React Native app. It has a welcome message as a text. so what i'm going to do is to add that test for checking whether we get the welcome message or not so any react <coughs> any testing framework we going to do it like this should have welcome message we get the element by text and in this case the text is welcome to react this and we want or we want to ex add check here that it is 
visible. Adding this test, run it again. Let's see how it works. The detox will by default open the app and then run the test suite. Welcome. That amazing the test is passing thanks for watching guys it was my first video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and you can also provide feedback in the comment section